to draw and how to rig. Piggy course. Welcome to this grease pencil drawing and rigging course for beginners. You will learn everything you need to make and rig the piggy, but you can support me by buying the extended version from my Gumroad. The final rig is included in the download or you can buy it separately. This course is beginner friendly, but you may want to watch the general beginner tutorial first and the introduction videos to rigging and weight. The links are in the description. Pay attention to the green text that appears during the video as it contains very important Important information. In this final part, we finish by adding time offset modifiers to control shapes and animations, add drivers to control everything with bones, and learn to use basic scripted expressions and bone constraints. Now all these nose bone and hand bone etc are useless, so to enable them to control the strokes and the frames, we will add some time offset modifiers to our grease pencil object. So let's select it, let's go to the modifiers panel, and we add a time offset modifier. Let's start with the eyes, I guess. Name this one I R space T O for time offset. And we change the mod to fixed frame. If we change this value now, you see that we are offsetting frames, like scrubbing through the frames. But of course, we don't want this modifier to affect all the layers. So we go under influence and we choose our right eye layer, this one. This is not what we want either. So we want this modifier to affect two layers, the eye and the eye fill. Let's first remove this layer from here and go to the layers panel and select our right eye layer and go under relations and give it a pass index of 1. Let's do the same for the eye fill R, give it also a pass index of 1. Then to the eye, the left eye, we give it a pass index of 2 and the left fill, we also give it a pass index of 2. So now right eye and right fill have the same pass index and eye left and fill left also have the same pass index. So back to the modifiers panel, we change here pass from 0 to 1 and now it will affect all the layers that have pass index 1. And you see now it works. Let's put it back to 1, we right click and we add driver. Here we have some settings for our new driver. We choose an object which is our piggy armature and we choose a bone which is our eye right. Let's just type eye and eye right and the axis will be the local x axis of our bone. So again right click edit driver this time. So it's x location and not in word space but in local space, the local space of our bone. So now if we select our bone we are still in pose mode and we move with G this bone. It is working but very slowly. Let's zoom out. G, yes you see it closed a little bit. So so instead of going back and forth between the settings here and our grease pencil and our armature, let's open a new panel here and go here and look for drivers and now disable this arrow here so that all the drivers will be shown regardless of the object selected and we have our first driver so we select it here and then in this panel if you can see it do n in the keyboard go under drivers and we have these settings here you see that the change is happening when it is going up so i will change var to minus var so that the change happens when the bone is going down and then i will multiply it so multiply by 50 and let's try to move the bone again Yes, it's working better. Let's multiply it by 200 maybe. Try again. Maybe 500. And yes, now it is fast. The only problem is with it going up and this flickering here. So what we will do for this bone is to hit N. Go here and disable the Y and Z movement so that it moves only on its local X axis. And then we will add a limit location for this bone. So select this panel here and then we add a limit location. Let's add a minimum x of 0 so that the bone doesn't go under 0 for its local x-axis. That's why we change also here from word space to local space. And now the bone, yes, I was mistaken. So it should be maximum x. So we disable this and enable maximum x. And now it can't go beyond this. Very nice. We can increase more, I think, maybe multiply by 700. And yes. This is much better. And the plus one here ensures that when the bone is at zero, the value will be one. So if it's zero here, if we don't have plus one here, the eye will disappear. We will have frame zero here. But with plus one, we will start from frame one. So this is it, we made our first driver. Let's create the other time offset modifier. So select our grease pencil object again, go to the modifiers panel. You can click on this arrow to hide the settings of the modifier. Click on this arrow to duplicate this modifier. 
when you duplicate you get the same settings like here fixed frame if you create a new one you will again have the default values and you will have to change them again i dot l space to enter and we change the path to two this time right click and add driver and instead of editing it here let's do escape we can edit it here this time so armature i left x location again but in local space we multiply this by 700 and we select this bone and we try yes it's working so here it was minus var and here it's the opposite it's positive var now again we lock the y and z for this bone go here under bone constraints add the limits location and this time i think it's minimum x so let's try yes we forgot to change this to local space and yeah so now let's do the nose again we select our wheel pencil object we duplicate the sky we name it nose to and you see that these names are reflected here and this is the only way to know which driver are we working on so nose time modifier we remove the pass or we change it to zero zero means that all the layers will be affected unless we specify a layer here and that will be the nose layer right click and driver and you can go here piggy armature select the nose bone x location local space you can try to move the bone yes it should work we just multiply it by maybe 20 and try again yes this is very nice now we lock the y and z and we add a limit location it should be obvious so you should follow this arrow here so after the arrow is positive and before the arrow is negative so under this is minimum and after this is maximum so the maximum means that you can't go after that value and the minimum means that you can't go before that value so here since the positive values are going downward so it's minimum here so here yes minimum x and then here we can play with the nose we do one for the mouth so again select our business object collapse this modifier this arrow duplicate name this one mouth shape to and change the layer here to mouth let's change this to just sh we don't want too long names so that you can see everything here then duplicate again let this be the mouth size one and we change the layer to head i think yes the head layer maybe let's call this mouth and this one chin now duplicate again and dot r space to change the layer to the right arm and duplicate again and dot l space to and change the layer to arm left since we are here we can add also a subdivision modifier since we sampled our strokes and reduced the resolution of some strokes we can use subdivide to increase the resolution again if you disable subdivide here you can see that we have these edges on the eye but now if you enable it the iris has a better resolution and the same here for the eyelashes if you go to edit mode let's disable multi-frame let's select the head layer and you see these points these are the original points and these are the non-destructive points added by the subdivision modifier if you increase to two you get more points three so the more points you have the slower your project will be one or two is enough i think i forgot to add drivers so here we have our driver here we have it here we have it here we have it here we have it no control d escape yes yeah we should be good now these are all our drivers and let's go back to our armature let's get out of edit mode here select the armature which one do we fix now this one the mouth size yes we go to the chin driver we add our armature we add our size type size mouth size bone x location in local space and we disable the y and z and we add a limit location this time i think it's the maximum that we will add a limit to so maximum x in local space let's test it yes but i guess we need to change var to minus bar and multiply it by 700 just like we did with the eyes and test it working great now let's do the right arm so select the hand r here we select our armature we select our hand r x location in local space again we add the select our bone don't forget to select the bone and add a constraint limit location again you see that the arrow is going upward and we don't want it to go above zero so we add a maximum of zero maximum in local space lock the y and z and now we have this so since it's going to zero in this direction we will change var to minus four and multiply it by maybe 100 and see what happens so g i think 100 is too fast so multiply by 50 and try again yes this is more comfortable let's do the other arm hand l armature type hand choose hand.l x location local space so we check the value here it's minus var multiplied by 50 plus one and here we do the same but i guess without the minus so multiply by 50 yes x location local space now select the bone don't forget that and then lock the y and the z and here as you can see we don't want it to go under zero so it means we will have to add a minimum location we add a limit location constraint and minimum x zero in local space and now we try it yes it works like a charm did we do the mouth shape so we choose the mouth we select our armature we select our mouth shape and x location local space we lock the y and z we add a bone constraint limit location and this time i think it's minimum x and to change var maybe we multiply by 50 
Let me try. Yes, it's working. The limit location is not working because we didn't change world space to local space. So now, very nice. But now we want also this bone not only to control the shin size but to control the mouth size. So for that, we will need to add two new drivers to this bone. We want the driver to be able to resize it on the X and Y axis using this bone. So we'll have to change the scale here to add a driver to the scale. We add one to the X. You see, when we change this value, the mouth gets wider back to zero and we do control d escape and we do the same in the y axis escape and now we have two drivers for the scale of the mouth bone so we start using these drivers piggy armature mouth size bone x location in local space and the same for the other one piggy armature x location in local space and the bone is mouth size and if we test it now we are changing the size but like backwards so should we change var to minus four so minus var here and minus var here and move again yes the mouth is getting bigger and we can do some multiplication now so I'll multiply by 50 do the same here and try again now this is too much so maybe 10 try again yes this is much better and i think i want to add another limit location so that we don't get an effect like this if we go really down and we get this really big mouth so maybe a limit location here i think this is the value that we need to add as limit location so here in the bone constraints panel we add minimum location what have we said yes so minus 0 0.09 enter yes so now it can't go beyond this maybe minus 0 0.07 yes this is good but you see i wish that when the mouth is resized it gets a little lower than this i think we can fix this if we go to edit mode tab and select this bone and move it a little bit down to change the placement of its origin so g z here and back to pause mode tab again select this bone and try to now you see now it's getting up instead of down so we should do the opposite again to edit mode and instead of moving it down we move it up so gz again and move it maybe here and since the origin is here now it should move the mouth down so again tab and test it yes i like this better let's switch to another mouth shape and test again yes it works great let's test all the mouth shapes very nice now i think we have one last thing to do and we are done so we have this shadow here and we can resize this manually we can move it with g manually but we can also make our life easier and automate the shadow animation we will add two drivers to the z and the y here to resize the shadow and control the driver using the body root so that when the body root moves up the shadow gets smaller so select this bone we go to the z and y scale here so the y and we do control d to add the driver escape then the z control d escape and now we have two new drivers let's add our armature let's add the body root type root choose body root and then check which axis is the one that is vertical so middle mouse button to get out of camera view and see it from the side it's a little hard to see because we have this y axis and the z axis because these two bones the body and the roots are overlapping let's move the body bone a little bit g so you see it's the z axis escape to cancel moving this bone and here choose z location back to camera view zero we do the same for the other driver so we choose our armature we choose our root bone we choose z location in local space and now if we try to move this bone you see that the shadow is getting bigger so we should turn var to minus var so minus enter minus enter and now oh, i forgot here to change to local space now it's working much better maybe we can make it faster so i'll just duplicate by two and do the same here let's also just remove this space here and remove this zero and this point to make this expression shorter enter now let's test again but you see when the girl gets up really high the bone here will be inverted and the shadow will start getting bigger again i also don't want the shadow to get bigger when the root bone gets down like this i want it to stop growing at some point so for that we need to check these values here the value you can see here the first value is here zero so i don't want the shadow to change scale when this value gets under zero from here on i don't want the shadow to get bigger and then when you go up you see here above the driver value when it reaches zero it starts going like negative and that happens when this value here reaches 0 0.5 this is the second value okay let's do alt g to move the bone back to its place and let's write an f statement so one it means a size of 100 percent if var is less than zero 
and then we do else zero if var is greater than 0 0.5 and then else our value here minus var multiplied by 2 plus 1 this is the value that will change size if the value of var is bigger than 0 0.5 the driver value will be always 0 and if var is less than 0 the driver value will always be 1 and it won't be bigger than 1 let's zoom in let's remove this menu here and you see the x axis here is not growing anymore when we reach this so let's copy this expression Control c and go to the other driver and paste it here Control v and and test again yes here it's working and then if we go up and up and up you see now that the shadow is invisible and it won't get bigger again and also you can see the value here that it moves and then at zero it stops and here at one it doesn't get bigger and the reason we added this expression and we didn't add just a limit location like we did here for the up and down is that we can't have the root bone to stop at one point we can't limit the location of this bone we need it to be as free as possible now there is one more trick that we can do is to make this bone move sideways when the root bone moves to follow the body sideways so we select the body root. we shift select the shadow we select it last because we will add the constraint to it so Control shift c and we do copy location and we go here and this time we will use word space and we'll choose x so disable y and z so select the body root g and yes but i think it was better to use this bone instead of the root so let's go again to the driver and choose instead the body bone and let's try again yes it works and here it works too so i think this is it let's do some testing the arms are fk forward kinematics this guy works to change the shapes you can add as many shapes as you want this guy also works this guy this bone works too and this bone will change the shape of the hand and the poles work too the other pole work the root it seems that the body root is not parented to the root so back to edit mode tab we select the body root we shift select the root Control p make parent and keep offset back to pose mode now the root bone moves everything the body root can rotate like this the head bone all the head bones are parented to this bone here we can move the irises we can close this eye you can close the other eye if you want to close them both together you can enable x here to move the symmetrized bones together so g and here we can close both eyes together and move both arms together too now the nose the recurring of the nose works this bone is not moving anymore for some reason okay so if you move down enough it will move and then if you go down again after moving it to its last position and try to go up again it won't move until you reach a certain position and it will move the problem is that even with the limit location here and we set which are the minimum and maximum locations the value here still changes to more or less than that value so if you watch it here and move with g it will move until it reaches zero and then the bone will move to get rid of the this problem you need to enable affect transform here and it will affect this value and you won't have that problem anymore but you see that the value didn't change to zero when we enabled this so we need to change it manually and then if we do it now it should work so let's go up left click and then g and move again and now it moves without any delays so this is something that you need to be aware of this is the end of the piggy course congratulations on making it this far but how about doing it one more time using the other reference image thanks for watching and peace